Okay, hopefully. It's live. We are live now. All right. All right. All right. All right. We laugh. We laugh. Okay. Purple's your favorite color? I didn't know that. I bet yeah. you I bet you know what my per, my favorite color is. I bet you could just guess it. Purple gang. Purple, purple. gang. Red. Think even more girl. Think even more girly. Pink. Okay. <laughs> Mine used to be blue, and then I changed it to purple. So wait a minute. So anyway, welcome everybody. Um, so this is we are. This is the Levant Levanda's Tria Nine Live. We are waiting for Pam. Uh, Dr. Rose will not be in today. She was scheduled, but she had something come up. So she's um. So yeah, we're waiting for Pam. Look at look at look at look at this one, Tara. Look at Tara. Was scheduled, but she had something come up. Oh, so she's um. That's me. My bad. Right. <laughs> so we're trying to get her in right now. Right. So we just wait for for Pam. But now, so while we're waiting, first off, we have to say this. Yay, Takia on her first live. Yay. 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 Now she's saying she's getting an error message. An error message. Um D'Angelo, we're gonna we're gonna tongue kiss you through this right now. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know who I am. Okay. <laughs> all right, wait, 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 we got <laughs> another one. All compliments, all compliments get put on the screen. You know that. Hello. Oh, oh okay. Thank you, Mighty Strong. Okay, and then look, look, looking gorgeous. Thank you. Wait, wait, I missed her. Wait, let me get this. Yes, thank you, Nadia. We, thank you. we appreciate all the comments. Okay, so I'm trying to get Pam in. We, we're trying to. Uh. Well, this is it. After your first live, we're going to be expecting them. Right, now we expect them. Oh, here come Helen. Here come Helen. We are cute. 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 <laughs> okay. Put some earrings on. Be a real lady. Oh, okay, so Aaron, Aaron. I mean Tara, you just want me to send you a sample of everything I own right now. You I mean, come on now. Come on. Come on. Stop, stop all the compliments. Keep them coming. Keep Aww. them coming. All <laughs> right. Stop, but don't stop. <laughs> right, right. Don't stop. Hey Coco. Hi, Winter Michelle. How everybody in here? Okay, Hi. so. Um, so yeah, this is this is our Kia's first live. So welcome to the live game. Welcome to the live game. Welcome gang, to gang, 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 gang. Okay, that I learned that in, in working. You know, <laughs> you know, I was like, gang, gang. What is that? <laughs> okay, I was like, what? What? I was clutching my little pearls and everything. Oh okay. wait, what's it? Someone else was talking about that they got the. Did everyone get LT from Fragrance Net? Did you see that comment? Yes, I, yes we did. It, it was the cheapest around. Um, okay. Oh, oh LT is no. lavender's trait. I was confused. I was like, LT. Well, I'm just okay, so I'm gonna move myself for a minute and call Pam. So you all hold it down. Okay. okay. Okay, okay. Hey guys, so tell us what are you wearing if you are wearing anything tonight? What's your yeah. scent of the day, scent of the night? Tell us. What's scent of the night. Yes. Oh, thank you. We can't click the comments because Lou yeah. restricted us. Just kidding. Thank you, Mighty Strong. Oh, wait. Did you click that? I didn't Who's click anything. That? Oh, okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> Um, let's see. We got hey Nini, welcome. Um, Coco's here. We said hi, Melissa. Hey Melissa, Lou, welcome. Okay, so Tara says she has lavender's tree on, but yeah, got it five a while ago. Um, do, how many um Mason Lancome fragrances do you have, Kia? I now have two. Okay. And a <laughs> okay. <laughs> I also now I have to. So. Uh, what was the other one? A uh, Santal cardamom. Oh, nice. Okay. Do you like Santal yeah. cardamom? I can see you liking it though. I like it. Yeah, I remember I, I tried it at uh, Nima Marcus. Me and Ollie's mom. When I first moved uh, back to Houston, we went to Nima Marcus, and that was my first time testing any Maison Lancome fragrances. And 
Um, I like Santa cardamom. I like the patchouli one. And I like the fig one as well. I don't remember smelling the lavender one. Well, this one there, I don't I don't think oh, I yeah, did. I think it's, it's discontinued. So it's yeah. not in the stores, right? So mm -hmm. I'm trying to look at everybody. So if you oh, all Lord. see something that I need to put up, let me know, because it is a lot of conversation going on. Um, yeah. Hi, Tara. Uh, Oh, Tara, uh, Tara, the other Tara, oh, Factifile, she um, is trying to jump on everyone's lives. That's going right. to be tough Thank time. you. <laughs> so, Helen, you do you have it? I mean, it's not too late. Right. Oh, that, yeah. I didn't know you at that time, Helen. Sorry. Um, Let's see. Hi, Simone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did she just say, hold on, hold on. Coco trying to lie on me. Quit lying on me. I'm about, I'm about to get three of the black bottles. Girl, shut up. Quit lying on me. I mean, All right, we got she heard it from you. Yeah, you so bad. Thanks, Tara Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Helen, we have to do a live soon anyway. So, you know. Hey, hey, Janet. Oh, there's so many people in here. Okay, so she trying. So she. Oh, there she is. There she is. Let me add this. Oh, <laughs> oh, damn oh, time. Oh, First of all, y'all know I am struggling with this damn technical stuff. Uh, <laughs> I was waiting. I was looking for a code, and I was like, "Well, where's the code? Where's the code?" I'm like the link, the link, the link. Oh, no. No code. oh wait a minute. Here you go. Amina, Helen's in um, Houston too. She want to go shopping yeah. with you. Yeah, we should totally do it. The gallery is not that far away. We just need to make a plan. Okay, well, I'm just coming. I'm coming to, to come um, to not, Houston. Yeah, we're all going to come. We're all going to go shopping. You guys are welcome. You know, the gallery here is very fancy. So they have oh, like yeah, the I've been floor and they have the common folk floors. But we're going to be on yeah, the fancy you're in, floor, you're in so. Houston too? No, Hello. I said I travel. Oh, <laughs> go shopping with them, right? <laughs> when she said Pam about to have you dye her hair red, I'm trying not to dye my hair. Guys, I can't I'm see the comments. To dye my hair. I cannot see the comments. Go to on the where it says private chat. Just click on the comment section on the right side. Right, and then hit all. It may say oh. like. Chat. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But we're gonna get you together, Pam. Okay. <laughs> oh, so Rosie can't be here because you know, she's yes. on her way home. She's, oh, okay. She's, so, um, and oh, and Kelly H Town is in Houston too. So she coming with us too. Uh, yep. I just need so Kelly. I, as soon as you get your place, as soon as you get your place, Kelly, let me know because I'm coming to crash. Okay. Because I ain't. Wait, to wait a minute. When is this trip? I don't know. No. Well, I know that Kelly no. said she no. find a sugar daddy. So Kelly, I'm <laughs> waiting. You said there are many oh, of them. Right, right. right, right. We, yeah, we, we're we gonna be on that sugar daddy trip. Hell yeah. <laughs> so uh somebody asked, where are you from originally, Pam? Oh, wait, wait, uh, wait, Trinidad and Tobago. I didn't know you were from Trinidad. Okay. Because oh, yeah. yeah, you got that little accent. You're trying to sound all sexy and everything. <laughs> yeah, actually, okay. um, I didn't come up to the States until I was um, um like three, six months before I turned 19. So I was almost 19 when I came up to the States. Okay. Yeah. Her yeah. accent comes out when she's excited. When she's yes. excited about something, <laughs> just right there. <laughs> right. Wait a minute. Uh, and I hate to... I, what okay? What's her name again? Because I I don't like Udo Pontograph. What's her name again? Oh, Michelle, right? Okay, Tara says she'll come in November, March. Girl, Tara, you better come and get this tan with us if we come in May. If we go to May, you just come and get that tan. Girl, sunscreen is your friend. That's all I'm saying. Sunscreen <laughs> is your friend. But it, it is hot though. It, it, it's very hot. I blame you. Okay, Look, I'm, a, I'm excited. I'm extremely. I'm extremely anemic. I can deal with the heat. I barely sweat. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing is, we were going to say, so Pam, since you coming in, we're going to explain our fragrance style before okay. we get started. So everybody. <laughs> but now with all these people in here, we got 63 people in here. Let me not forget to say this because this was in my head. 
Kia is almost at a thousand subscribers. I have put her, 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 everybody's channels in my description box. So if you're on my channel, you better go and subscribe to her before we done. That's all I'm saying. Her numbers better go up by the end of this damn video. By the end of our lives, she better be blow up, blow up. Because she this close to her thousand. So she better. I'm going to go check too. Let me tell you, I will check on y'all. I will check. I will check. And then I'm gonna put up a post on my on my on my community tab. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all didn't hear me? Okay. So anyway. You guys see Stevens oh. here, from adolescence. Oh, hey, oh, hello. Hello. Okay, okay, hello. I guess I guess we can say that because he I'm still waiting for Steven. I'm still waiting for my uh my uh stuff from Sin Explorer. I think that man is lying to us, that little Steven, what Steve Martin perfume. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That fragrance, right? Yep. So just okay, Courtney, just subscribe. That's what I want to hear. That's what I need. Awesome. Awesome. Why being Courtney, okay? So let's get to it. Hi, Nisha. Let's start get started because y'all know we could we could be here forever just talking to y'all. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all already oh, know. Wait, wait a minute. I but see Bougie you Frank, you man, I see a decent Nene. Wow, everybody's here. Yay! Oh. Y'all are about Pam, to you know, with us because I'm about to get really excited. I see so much people in here. Look at that. <laughs> accent. Yeah, she got to lose her accent, girl. We're going to barely be able to understand Pam and the five. She's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So here we go. So we're going to each explain our fragrance style. I'll go last because I don't even know what my damn style is. <laughs> go on. <laughs> okay. So. For me, my fragrance style, I'm really into gourmand, sweet fragrances, um, feminine leaning fragrances. I'm getting into unisex fragrances, but um, just in general, I pretty much like my fragrances on the sweeter side. All right. Come on, Amina, with it. My turn. Okay. So can you guys hear me? I just unmuted myself. Yes, we can hear okay. you. So my style of fragrance tends to be more on the, I mean, I guess now my my taste has evolved because normally or back in the day, I would say I like sweeter, more darker, deeper scents. But mm -hmm. I think what I like really are just complex compositions that really, I don't know how to, what am I doing? What am I saying? Okay. So <laughs> something that means something, something that's complex, very, has a lot of depth to it. I like animalics. I like ouds. I like spicy fragrances. Um, I'm getting into florals now, but I do love an indolic floral. It's my faves. I like it. Uh, so yeah, I would say my taste tends to be um, not really mass appealing. A lot of people think the stuff that I like doesn't smell very great, um, but I think it's, it's beautiful. So yeah. All right, come here, come up, come through, Miss uh, Pam. <laughs> Pam. I, I like scents that have, um, as Amina mentioned, a story to it. So I like scents that it doesn't necessarily have to be the notes in it, but scents that when I smell it, it makes me, it takes me back to a story or a situation or anything. And so those scents tend to have um, flavors like passion fruit or mango, or um, there was even a scent that had something in it called um, uh, ab absinthe absent or something like that and then there is this thing in Trinidad called uh, it's Agnes Stura bitters right and we used to put it in every single drink and mm -hmm. I think that's why I have a, a an, a, an addiction to Mugler fragrances they don't like me back but I refuse to unhug them so <laughs> <laughs> so I love Mugler fragrances but a lot because it, it reminds me it has something in Mugler that has that incense slash Agnes Stura bitter taste to it and I like I like scents that make my mouth water. I don't know if that, that happens to anybody else. But mm -hmm. I start getting this conjugation going on in the back here. And I start feeling like I want to eat like my arm off or something. And that's kind of my my style of fragrances. I notice a lot of them have roses and stuff in it. But the other, besides the rose, um, which may or may not be the main accord, I notice that the other items in it, um, oak moss is another thing that takes me back to home because, I mean, we lived in a country, so... Yeah, that's my style for now. Nope. <laughs> for now, for now. That's a good point. Yeah. 
Okay, so I am girly, of course. <laughs> But I also like everything. So I, I I think like a few a couple of years ago, you could just say that I like like you know really floral, curly, you know Vera Wang princess, Lolita Lampika, and all that. But my um, I'm I'm like Tara said, I'm kind of eclectic, but I'm just not as weird as Amina. Ah! <laughs> just messing with you, Amina. <laughs> I, but, you know, I, I, come to, I come to uni by all the like places I've never uh companies uh fragrance houses I've never heard of. You know, you yeah. gonna see Amina, she gonna come with something. You like what? Let me let me let me go look this place up right here. So that's what we come to you for, you know. Um, yeah, it's a lot of people in here, so it's about 74 altogether watching yes. us. Yes. Yes. But no, Amina is my, you know, Amina know I love her. We talk all the time. But but yeah, so I, I am growing. I am unisex, but I don't like that masculine stuff. Don't make me smell like you, a man. I don't want to smell like a man. That's right. I don't want to smell like a man. One of my favorite fragrances ever, by the way. And this is... Auntie yes, I know. Auntie yes. <laughs> right, right. I, I wear and love masculine fragrances, so... No, but you have, taught me, that's you have taught me about a lot of things. You have taught me about a lot of things. So, you know, and ain't nothing wrong with being weird. I have always been considered weird. I know y'all yeah. don't believe it, but I've always been weird. Okay. I could tell y'all stories. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> so, oh so, okay. So now we're going to do this whole Lavanda Strianon thing. Okay. Yeah. I, I have not smelled it yet. I just took it out of the wrapper. And so we're going to see how we all feel about it. I'll go last because, of course, we know that I don't like lavender. Well, well, but you I should open it first because you yeah, haven't smelled it yet. We think you've all sniffed ours, right? Okay. So <laughs> I, I was like, y'all want me to be the first one? I yeah. think. I think because okay, I don't okay. like you not to be swayed by ours because we've already like I've spent two days with this. I have my okay, 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 okay. All right, so here she is. Oops, well, she's pretty as they always are. So yeah, the they're always so gold gorgeous. Gold and not white. Yeah, right, right. That whole white thing was stupid. So I have eleven. This is my eleventh one. Ooh. Listen, Fragrance Net was having some great sales last year. Y'all saw it on my uh Okay, let me see. Let me see. Cause we okay, know so that and I couldn't find my because I bought the biggest bottle of lavender fabuloso and I was gonna bring it here and say I was gonna smell like um I was gonna have my house smell like Mongerlan. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mongerlan. See, see, Abby knew. Abby knew. She said, let's hope I don't smell fabulous. <laughs> well, I don't think you'll smell fabulous. I bought the biggest thing. Uh, Costco got the biggest. If y'all look at a lavender fell, go to Costco. It's like three gallons. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Okay, I kind of like this. Oh. But it reminds me of one of them. Of another one that you have? Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We have the kinda, It kind of vibes like with the lavender, of course, but it kind of vibes like patchouli aromatique, like a, a like a patchouli truly aromatique and the Santal cardamom. They kind of got that. Mm. Okay. Okay, come 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 for me. Wait a minute, come for me, Tara. You in the loo? Come up here. I come down to you. That far from me, we can meet in the middle. Oh, we can be on the highway. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we can meet on the highway. <laughs> okay, guys, calm down. Calm down. We're all in the, okay. <laughs> all on the same team. She said, "I'm gonna stop disrespecting Monger Line." <laughs> okay. Okay. So right off the bat, right off the rip. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised I like it because I was thinking, am I going to like this? But I think it's the vanilla. The vanilla and the lavender are making it work for me. I'm going to put it on my skin too, though. Let me see because, you know, I might I like it. That I sprayed my skin and I, I sprayed the card to see if I see a difference. Yeah, so let me spray it on. Okay, okay. First first impression, I like it. I know y'all was so surprised for me to say that. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all just knew I was gonna hate it, didn't you? 
I mean, you hate Mangalan, so. You hate Mangalan? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Lulu. I don't hate it. I said it smells like Fabuloso on me. Oh, well, on you. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. It smells like? Like, I don't like black orchids, so. Oh, I can't stay a black orchid. We <laughs> okay, okay. We're not here for black orchid. We're here for black Okay, okay, right, right. <laughs> Okay, so you have positive thoughts about um, fragrance. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, who wants to go next? Okay, so it's not smelling like Fabuloso, right? No, it's not smelling like Fabuloso. It's sweet. I smell the vanilla. It's like a sweet lavender. It kind of reminds me, you know, um, Bath and Body Works has a lavender vanilla. That's what I'm smelling. It smells like the fab the the Bath and Body Works lavender vanilla candle because my daughter be. But that's, that's okay. what Heather H was telling us yes yesterday. And alive, she was saying oh, that yeah, right. um, she really likes that lavender marshmallow or lavender candle from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, um, somebody asked you that. Okay, uh, mighty strong uh, Rose. Doctor Rose was unable to be here today. She's not. She's exhausted. She's had a long day. So, all right. So, Kia, what's your thoughts on it? Okay. So, Coco asked me um, if I thought that Lavanda's trend on smelled like Mongolan. So, when I first got this, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, is this Lancome's take on Mongolan? But as I wore it more, it could be, to me, it could be a flanker of Mongolan. Um, am I giving my full thoughts right now? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, you guys, I'm so obsessed. <laughs> okay, okay. With the perfume. Like, I love Mongerlon, but this is on another level. And I have Mongerlon since well, which is supposed to be a little bit more intense, like the intense version. But this has sandalwood in it. And I think it does, right? But it's so creamy. It's so creamy and milky and yeah. um, cozy. I tried to wait for this live, but I could not. <laughs> like every chance I get, I'm like spraying and sniffing, spraying and sniffing. I went to the grocery store and the guys, one of the stock people like turned around and was like, you smell amazing. And I was like, I know, it's amazing. <laughs> Because I was, I didn't want to go into my whole like I'm obsessed with this perfume from Monco. Because of course they won't understand, but this yeah, is amazing crazy. to me. I absolutely love it. It's sweet enough. It's creamy enough. I like to sleep in it. I like to wear it. It doesn't really evolve or change too much. It does get very creamy, but it stays bright to keep me uplifted. I am just enjoying this. This is the best purchase of 2021 so far. Wow. I'm so That's glad. <laughs> I was so yeah. excited about buying this that I don't even know if I had it for a week, but I was like, what's another one I could buy? Um, and so I pick orange, oranges, bilirides, bilirides or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's a whole other conversation, but this one, I'm so glad I got it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, Miss Amina, what's your thoughts? It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I feel like I need to preface this by saying that preface, preface, English preface. is my second language. Preface. Okay, so me and my taste, you guys know. Let me just get to it. <laughs> Don't this say it, don't say it. It's it's a nice fragrance. It's um it's milky, it's creamy. Somebody mentioned earlier that it has a butteriness to it, and I completely agree. It has this like yeah. creamy, smooth butteriness to it. Right. However, I do not like this. I don't like it, and I hate to be that person because I feel like I'm the only person who doesn't like it. But again, I mean, this is just my personal taste. You guys, Kia is obsessed with it. You also like it so far. And I, I don't know about Pam, but for me, 
I think it was the fact that it just didn't feel like me. It's a nice fragrance, but there's something. <laughs> okay, I, I think I I am gonna get rid of it because when I first tried it, I was like, okay, let me give it another try. I'm not too crazy about it. It's okay. It's milky. It's the lavender. It wasn't the lavender that I was expecting. Um, so the next day I gave it another wear and that's when I decided, okay, I don't think this is for me. Um, and the thing is, I should have known, I should have known. Um, but it was that whole like FOMO situation where it was like, oh shit, we're all buying this. I want to buy it too. And I was, <laughs> and just to say like, I, um, I think I was, did I say it earlier? Were we on live or were we not live yet? But I've tried several Maison Lancome fragrances and I do like a few of them. As I said earlier, I own some tall cardamom and I love this. This one's, I, it's beautiful. I really enjoy yeah, I this. Um, but this one, and I understand Lulu, you said this kind of is familiar because there's these two have something in common, but this one just has some, I don't know, something about it, it just doesn't sit well with me. So I mean, mm -hmm. Helen says, send her your cash app. She buying it All for right. you. And she, so she gonna no pick it up. She gonna pick it up. Helen, real quick before before Pam goes, um, I think someone was saying that I should. I think it was Coco was saying I should try Tuberose Castane as well as Roses Barbaranza. Now I do have a decant of Roses Barbaranza, and when I first tried it, I couldn't get with it. But now since I've gotten used to more spicier scents. I do like that. Um, and Tuberose, Tuberose Castane, I like that one as well. I tried that one in the store. I was about to say, because we was going to have some problems. We was going to have some problems up in this piece. We was going to be, because you know, Rose and Bronze is one of my favorite fragrances. That's, That's really good. <laughs> yes. So, yes. I'm Okay, so Pam, what's your thoughts Sorry. on it? Okay. Well... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, okay. let me, let me, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need this one said before y'all even get there. Thank you, Winter Michelle. Ha! <laughs> yeah. You see how Kia giving you that look? <laughs> she no, like, oh, she is confident. confident. And you know what? I have not touched Monger Lawn in ages because I knew I liked it. I was just on the other things. But when I got this and then I tried... It was just having all over again. I fell in love. So, so okay. So, Pam, what's your thoughts? So, I get the I get the relativeness that you say it's like Mongrelon, but to me, um, I sprayed my Mongrelon, and I can get where they're talking about the lavender, but the lavender and Mongrelon, Mongrelon Floral, even the EDT gives me completely different vibes than this one does. This one reminds me, I told you I'm a food, you know, food related, right? So when I smell this, I'm like, literally, you know, and I'm like, I just paid a hundred dollars for this, <laughs> you know, but one of the things that it relates to food is because, um, I don't know if you're all familiar with sponge cake and the process to make sponge cake, that butter that sweet butter that you put in there before you put the blender and you're mixing it up before you know you make the cake and you're licking your finger that's that's what i get it's like the batter before you put the other ingredients before you put the bitters in it before you put the vanilla in it before you okay. put just the butter and the sugar as you're battering it up to make the cream that is what I, even on my arm that's what I kept sniffing my arm that's what it smells like that that buttery that's what i get and i don't know if i want to walk around smelling like butter you know but yeah what i did is i um just like i do with the house of siage fragrances what i did is i took this today actually because i knew we were going to talk about it and i layered it with mongrelan floral and i liked that combination because the two la lavenders they're different they, they, they're not the same so they're different and so that's how i ended up loving it so i could see you know but Right off the bat, it did not give me like roses, barbaranza, and magnolia rose. Right out the bottle, I was like, yes, yes. You know, with this one, I was like, uh, mm. hundred dollars. 
you know, so that's kind of how I was with it until I layered it. Okay. So I'm not a baby. I, I don't think it's pretty, but um, a, a, a fragrance, you know, and I think, Kia, when you said the guy told you you smell good, remember where you were in a grocery store? <laughs> I'm <laughs> oh, oh. hungry because he's ready to go home and cook. So you kind of like what you know, <laughs> you know. But it's just kind of that's sometimes that's what evokes, um, you know, good feelings and stuff. And so in that respect, you know, Christmas time people making cake, making a uh, sponge cake, making you know, um, well, fruit cake is a different a different composition with rum and stuff like that, but. That's what every time I smell it, and this is my only my, like this is my third time because the first time it came out of the bottle, I sniffed it on the bottle, and then I sprayed it on my skin, and I'm like, I don't know how I feel. The second time I mixed it this morning, I mixed it on my wrist with um the Mongrelan Floral, and I liked it better, a lot better, and then I just sprayed it just like a, a two sprays on my arm right here, and I'm thinking that it's nice, but I don't think, I don't see the hype. Mm. Yeah. All right, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so here we go. I actually like it. The more it sits on my skin, <laughs> I'm honest, I, do. I do. It's nice. It's it's because it's a vanilla lavender. That's yeah. So it gives it the sweetness, and it is. It's got butter. That's why it, it reminds me of Santal cardamom because it does have this creaminess to it. You know, and I don't. Um, have, I don't have that Lulu, the one you just mentioned. The, I don't have that. No, so I can't. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. right. No, I know, but I'm saying, like, for me, it's like, okay, I, I, I see, I see that, but mm, okay. And okay. how long have you had yours? I got mine uh, this past week. I want to say it was probably Wednesday. Okay. No, no, no. I'm sorry. It came in the mail Monday. Monday. Okay. Yeah, yeah, see, uh, mm. yeah, it was supposed to come Saturday and it didn't. Uh, my my UPS doesn't get stuff, they don't take stuff in until after a certain time. So I picked it up on Monday and I held off because Lulu had. Um, I was thinking, I saw Lulu on the text. I was like, damn, I was thinking because a whole bunch of us bored it. I was thinking of somewhere we can all talk about it. And then Lulu came up with the idea. I was like, this is totally perfect. So after I talked with her that night, is when I opened up the bottle and the box and I smelled it. Mm. Okay, okay. All right, so we all have talked about it, but we're only 32 minutes in, and you know we don't go <laughs> for 32 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep winning, and I'm going to see how it smells since this is my very first time. We'll see how oh, to dry okay, it. Cool. Okay. I want to ask Pam, yeah. since it seems like your feelings are, you're kind of, are you, is it a, a like or? A, it's a like, but not a love. Okay. It's a like, Perfect. not a love. And okay. you know, I'm trying to call my collection to only having things that I love in my collection. Right. So because mm -hmm. it's new to me and I've only worn it, literally worn it, I haven't worn it like a whole day or anything for it to see how it transpires, whether I work out and it changes or anything. But someone said, was it you, Kia, that said it stays there? The entire, <laughs> it's the same. The, the cords stay the same, right? That's what you said? Mm -hmm. So it, on my skin, it changes just slightly. The so only premier, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know if I want to keep this. What well, other? The, the good thing is you can sell it. Yeah, yeah. What did you say, Kian? What other um, long combs do you have that you love? I have the um, La Nuit Trissot. I have the um, Lancome, the one everybody talked about last year that I bought, but I have a limited edition bottle. Um, what's the one everybody okay. talked about? Huh? Okay. No, 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 it's not it's not this brand. It's um uh, dag on it. Everybody talks about Edo? it. Edo? No, nope. the other one, the other one. Damn it, I can't remember the name of it. La Via Bell? Yes. Yeah. Oh. I have that. I don't care for it, but my husband loves it on me. That's why I keep it. Okay. And then <laughs> and then I have Rosa's Barbaranzo, which I absolutely love. That is like one of my top 10 fragrances. And then I have Magnolia Rosé, which I absolutely love as well. Oh, okay. I yeah. love Magnolia Rosé, too. It's yeah. a beautiful floral. It's a beautiful yes. rose. Beautiful. It's really Magnolia. sophisticated. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So now that we've talked about those, I, I let everybody know. So do we have, we have more fragrances with us to talk about? So, so we got... So I'm going to keep... Well... 
I'm just going to throw this one out here so we, I can be done with the one that I really don't like. And I'm sorry, I mean, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know how I feel. Just, just listen, just, just put it down. Just <laughs> not. <laughs> <like it>. No. <laughs> <sighs> Somebody knows the one that knows there one that everyone loves agrees on. That's oh, gonna be kind of hard. Probably Rose's Barbaranza. Out of us here or so Tiger Tiger. Oh. I wanted to look I, see. I'm feeling like Amina when she said she wanted to love this one. I yeah. wanted to love this. this was my first Francesca Bianchi. I was like excited because I had tried some from Amina. And I do, I'm still getting under my skin, you no, know, because you write about under my skin. It's good. But and I, I don't the, I the, peach, the peach just goes bad on me. That's all I can say about it. The peach goes yeah. sour on me. And it smells like a rotten ass peach on me. So I just can't mess with it. I'm trying to get rid of it. I've been trying to sell this thing for over a week. Because I don't want it. <laughs> now, I will say this. It, you know, I, I'm i sure like on other people, if peach is good on them. Because the first blast of the peach was beautiful. Mm -hmm. When I first sprayed it, I was like, oh, my God, this is gorgeous. But as it sat on my and dried down on me, I was like, oh, hell no. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Tara, uh, the Tiger Tiger isn't her favorite Francesca Bianchi either. So, right. Is that one of the really popular ones? It's the newest release. Know. It's the newest oh. release. So I got this and I was like, oh, I'm about to get some on time and everything. So, well, Lulu, let me take a look at the notes and see if it's something I'm interested in. Let me know, girl. Okay. Yeah. Called Tiger Tiger with a with a Y. T Y G. Yeah, but yeah, it just didn't work on me. Oh, so, okay. Wait a minute. Here comes a compliment. Incoming compliment compliment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Hold on, I was you know. I was supposed to make fire, Pam. Your oh, makeup thank is you. fire. From Wendy. Oh, yeah. she gonna pull out her McGrath. She gonna pull out her Pat McGrath. And you see how the box is right here? Yeah. This is how the box arrived. Nothing makes me madder than that about Pat McGrath team. That, ha that happened to me once too with my midnight yeah. song yes. palette. I was pissed. Yes. I, I, yes. My son so I like I'm that. Wearing, I haven't worn that in a while. So and Pam pulled that out and then I, my lipstick is yeah, it's gorgeous. It's an old y'all know. I thank you. It is number two from this is uh Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder and this one I wanted to this is the one that um it's the mats, right? And it's the one that has all I know is that it has a magnetic cap. Right. So number 230. Oh, hold on. I think I see the name. The name of it is commanding. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Commanding. So I love okay. it. It's, it's this is a good matte. This brand, like 2014, 2015, they came up with all of these matte lipsticks and they don't um they feather but not too badly. And they don't maybe um like sometimes matte lipsticks dry my lips up really badly. Mm, so okay. that's all. So but somebody you, said that, 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 that um, comment just took my made my heart sink. Right. But the shadows are safe. I, I hope yes. <laughs> but Coco was somebody asking that, that, that better as, that Tiger Tiger gets better as it develops on your skin. I'm sure it does for other people, but it becomes more rancid on my skin. Just telling the truth. So there we okay. go. Unfortunate, unfortunate. I know, and I and I really tried. I was like sitting up here. No, it's gonna get better. I swear it's gonna get better. Oh. For Amina, <laughs> for Amina, for the culture. <laughs> At least you tried, and I appreciate it. But I know you like under my skin, so you know we're still we're still good. We're is that the number? Good. Which one is the number one for her line? Uh, under my skin, right? That's for me. Um, okay. Me personally, I love under my. That's my favorite from her line, and there's a bunch of others. I mean, I have, I think, nine out of her 11 fragrances. Wow. Yeah, so. That, you're, she, you really like her. Now, I yeah. think I know Joss, Joss had said something about it being, um, they're like more skin scents, that they don't project a whole lot. Well, no. they're all 
great formulas, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, I do find that they're all very long lasting, like they stick mm -hmm. around. Um, even in the air, I feel like they stick around a lot, especially Lover's Tale. Lover's Tale is a very loud fragrance. I don't have that one because okay. it can be a bit much. I think it's stunning, but it's it's one of those that it's it's difficult to grasp and difficult difficult to love. Um, but the other ones, they do last a long time on the skin, but they're not like radiating, you know, diva mode or beast mode, however you want to say. I wouldn't say it projects very much, but it does last on the skin for like all day, all day. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready for this one, Amina? Yeah. <laughs> nah, oh my God, my heart. Bless them pearls. Bless them pearls. Yeah. <laughs> They be coming for us in these like the they, be for our, they be coming for our throats. They coming for our throats. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it needs a moment to recover from that mess. Right, right. <laughs> Kia, go ahead. Kia, what do you have to say right now? We'll keep going. We'll let we'll let her recover. <laughs> oh, okay. What fragrance? Um, I already yeah. talked. No. I already mentioned this, so I'll talk about it again. But this is. Oranges, Bigarades, Bigarad. Sorry, I'm butchering the name, but I was so excited um, with the Lavandas Trinon that I was like, oh, I gotta get this one. Never heard anybody talk about it, <laughs> but when yeah, I, you know <laughs> Sam, okay, no, I've heard no one say that they had this one in their collection, but I went and sniffed it, and I thought. I think my quick sniff, I got candied orange. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep mental note, I'll keep that one. So when I saw that it was a good sale on fragrance net, I went ahead and got it. But when I got it home. You don't like it. <laughs> so what this is, it's like orange with black tea. Um, and it's very, 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 very reminiscent of Alien um, Eau Extraordinaire. Oh. So it's that citrus and tea. This is the same thing. Um, this is a little bit creamier than the Eau Extraordinaire. And the Eau Extraordinaire is actually a bit brighter with like lemon or something. But um, yeah, I don't need to with the same vibe, you know, like. Yeah, so I was a bit. This was a very huge letdown. Oh, oh, sorry. Girl, you better it see it. It happens. Ah, uh, it is okay. Um, <clears throat> I think Mighty wants to know what lip we're all wearing. Oh, what lip we're all wearing? Okay. Um, no, I would keep it nearby just in case someone asks. I'm wearing, um, hello, hello, girls. Come back. <laughs> Come back to us. Come on. Okay, well, uh, she'll oh, yeah. Back. Pam <laughs> told us what she had on. Um, you had on the oh. Lancome, Pam. Oh, Are you talking about fragrance or lipstick? Lipstick. Lipstick is Commanding by Estee Lauder. I okay. see that. Yes. And then. Um, did you want to tell us what you have on? Sure. Amanda? I'm wearing this Sephora lip. Oh. I'm on Sephora's lip products, guys. They're cheap. But yeah, they're they are good. This is the uh, root. Oh wait, that's that's in French. Um, cream lip stain, and this is what? Mm. Oh, I think it's in the shade 24. It just says 24. I don't know what that is, but it's like this. Um, mauvey purple color and i like because it's so i it feels like i have nothing on um just like a light layer and it, you get really good pigmentation um it's it's kind of matte here i come here i come okay I'm back. thank you I'm back. <laughs> girl my internet be like okay. Hi, so what you wearing amina because i missed all that and i oh, just got it out um, Sephora's uh, cream lip stain. I was saying people not to sleep on Sephora's lip products because they're really good, very good. affordable. And the shade is just, I mean, I think yeah. it's just a number. It says 24. I didn't pull That's out a number. 
Yeah, I had to let do theirs. Yeah, it just says made in Italy. It isn't, it's just 24, but it's like this mauve purpley. I think uh, Beauty Medic said uh, boysenberry. Oh, boysenberry, yeah. 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 A gorgeous berry. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm wearing. Yeah, I've tried them back in the I day. I, I, like one of those. I like their, um, you didn't their, like them? Uh, what's that ones? The ones they had that were like around the world. I had some of those before. The little okay. lipstick, I had some of those. Those are cute. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So what do you wear, uh, Kia? Because I missed it. Because you know my 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 janky Wi-Fi kicked me out. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wearing a lip liner, um, NYX Downtown Beauty, I think it's called, and it's a it's just a brown liner. And then listen, don't come for me, okay? But the gloss I'm wearing with that liner is Coco Kardashian lip black lip gloss. Which one? <laughs> What's it? Lulu, okay. Listen, they're the queen of nudes, and so am I. So we have to come together. But this is Kylie Jenner's Coco K lip gloss. Look, look at that. <laughs> Wait, but listen, this is the first time I've probably worn this. Since I've <laughs> you know, it's your stuff. I don't care. You paid for it. You paid for it. It's your stuff. Yes, Lulu's right. right. I tried using um, that's all. I tried using one of the Kylie Jenner matte lipsticks, and my God, was it <laughs> the most drying thing I've ever put on my lips? It was terrible. <laughs> and that was it for me. I never went back. From, I think from yes, there I on, I, um, my daughter wanted me to get. You know how kids are; they try to influence you, right? Uh -huh. And she tried to get me to buy. Um, when Kim Kardashian first came to Ulta, you know she had those sets with the contour thingy to, it was like oh, two-sided yeah. yep but it was a kit and it was expensive and um so i didn't get her that but i did get um yeah, the lip liner <laughs> that's what she wanted so we got the lip liner it turns out the lip liner was too dark for her so the lip liners are the, the um <clears throat> they're good the problem is that their packaging falls apart very easily um, and I'm not the first person that noticed that the covers, you know, when you put the cover on, it, it cracked easy, you know, to, oh, when wow. you sharpen it. So I, that, that went somewhere, but I'm not a big fan of, um, of, uh, the Kylie Jenner line. Yeah. I mean, this is like, I think I have one other gloss. Mm -hmm. That's it. And yeah, I, saw, I saw Udo Michelle's comment and I do have, um, some lipsticks from Uomo. So next time, if there's a next time, Lulu, I'll of make course. a more effort to represent. And um, no, please, you listen, you on my channel. We together. Do you think I really give a damn about that shit? Okay. <laughs> um, but what I was gonna say is like two of the worst liquid lipsticks was Kat Von D. Her stuff would have your stuff cracking to death, and okay. Mac. I love, you know, MAC has some really pretty colors, but their first formulation was terrible. The first formulation was bad. Now they did have the retro you know, one? The, yeah. retro, the retro one? Retro yeah, yeah, the retro yeah. one. You know, retro. I don't like it because they smell like bananas yeah. to me. And I, I <laughs> couldn't do it. That's what I like about it. <laughs> bananas? They smell like bananas. That is vanilla. <laughs> it smells like bananas to me. Yeah. Wow. It's white bananas. I, I couldn't. I like I like um I like black lipsticks. And you know what's funny is that after all these other companies have come out, I think last year was the year for Gucci and Carolina Herrera, um, in terms of lipstick and the formulation and had people running all over. We were buying stuff from doggone Harris, a lipstick from Harris, a oh, lipstick man. from Harris. Think about that. How much yes. money you spend, right? But you know, that's what quarantine does, right? <laughs> you do some dumb stuff. But the point is that when you look at uh, Carolina Herrera, um, oh, thank you, baby. You want to come and say hi? Somebody said, what you sipping on, Kia? <laughs> I'm sipping on a sweet red. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> Honey, Ruby Woo is dry. <laughs> Oh shit, my tea's finished. Damn. 
Okay. Y'all so cute. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Somebody said Ruby Woo is dry. Yes, it is, but it is the most perfect red ever made. You know what? Um, who who said that? I found a trick for it for um because I have an old Ruby Woo and I have a new um you put um if you use the lip balms, right? Put the lip balms on while you put in your makeup on, then it'll soak into your lips and, oh, yeah, and blot it. And then put your put your lips your your ruby woo on. It won't come off like if you know if it's too glossy. But that matte will stay, and it won't give you that cracky butt lip yeah. type of thing. Oh, oh yeah, but that's, that's what I always do. You gotta put yeah. the lip balm. That's yeah, you your have to let it sit in there. Yeah. I saw something about riri roo. Is that a thing? Or yeah. Just yes. Like, yes. They riri woo. Yes. Yeah. But they did do that one. Yes. However, this is that Juvia place perfect but red. Rihanna, I think it's Rihanna and um, Taraj, Taraji, 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 yeah, Taraji. Yeah, Taraji. Um, when they came out with their lines, I remember I was fighting to get me one, just one lipstick from the Rihanna line. It sold out like very, very quickly. Oh, okay. And then Taraji's did as well. But then it came back in for Christmas, and I found one in Miami. And you know, oddly enough. Some visited and I can't find it anymore. But that's that's good. The the composition of those, I like those. The, they're a little, they're matte, but they're not drying. So I like those. I love Mac lips. See, I like Mac and, I like, um, the, uh, I like Pat McGrath lips too. Mm -hmm. Where's it? Yeah, I like them. Y'all y'all better get them new Juvia's place. The Juvia's place ones are love. Have you tried them? Yeah, I did it. I should. I got five of them. I got this. Oh my gosh! And the Fenty liquid lipsticks, everything. Really? Oh yes, yes. I love that. I just have one, but I love it. I do. Okay, the okay. new Fenty lip gloss. I, like uh, I mean, and the one that has more color. It. Yeah. What about it? Or red, Tara. Or oh, back red. Okay. Y'all, look at that red. Look at that. Oh, red. that's like a blue red. Yes, it's called Perfect Red. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so okay, we got all off the subject. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's um, it's okay. so, um, I mean, it's your turn. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to see because I, I honestly, uh, well, I guess I'll talk about this one, um, and then. I, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been kind of delving into Scent Trunk, which is like this brand that they do, um, they collab with indie perfumers to make like a uh, special edition or original edition of a fragrance that centers or focuses on one ingredient. And I knew that Maya Enjai had collaborated with them. And if you guys know Maya Enjai, but I didn't know that it was available in the US. So I, someone sent me a message on um, Instagram was like, oh, they're on sale and you can get them from the US. And I was like, what? And I ordered a small bottle and hers is based on tree moss. So here it is here. Wait, where's it? Oh yeah, I forgot I'm using this. There it is there. And I mean, if you like moss and you like this one, this one is a bit powdery because it has iris and orris root, I believe, but it's, such a refreshing change for Maya. Cause if you guys know Maya and Jai's fragrances, they're quite, um, I don't want to say simple, but they're very refined. They're not too complex no, no, no. going on. They're very clean, easy to wear, easy to love fragrances. But this I feel kind of pushed her boundaries a bit, which is yeah. what I was wanting from her, at least as far as something different or something new. So this one hit the spot because it has this animalic musk note. It has a boozy note as well. And of course a lot of moss, but it smells very fresh, very green. I really am liking it so far. Where really can you buy it. my, uh, my NJ stuff? You can get her stuff from, I know you can get it from Muse and there's one other place too. I want to say Tiger Lily, maybe. Okay, Tiger Lily. But yeah, but Muse carries her stuff as well. Okay. That's the first, um, I think her first U.S. stock is, is Muse experience. Yeah. Okay. We have one that's um, near us, but I'd have to give you the name, Pam. 
Okay. It's the okay. second store that carries her in the U.S. now. Oh, okay. oh, that's awesome. That's good. Yeah. Oh, Luke, um, talk. This is scent trunk. Scent trunk. Here. I'm sorry. I'm like looking at it right now. Okay, the prices are pretty good too. Okay, so let me tell y'all. I I'm planning on doing a dedicated video on scent trunk but I have like these travel sprays. They're only $16 each and you get five mil. And again, these are all indie perfumers and all of them are focused on one particular ingredient. So um, they release one, a new one every month. So I have one from August, 2020. And I just keep my gut. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. huh? I'm looking at them now. Yeah. And I have one from um, December, 2020, which is black frankincense and I love it. Then I have December 2019 because uh, Dawn Spencer Harowitz did one and I wanted to try it out uh, for October 2020. And the ingredient focus is black hemlock. And then we have ginger, which is January 2021. This ginger one is really nice. It's very, very nice. That sounds exciting though. I was just reading that when it does. Icing. Hi. That's a good one to try some stuff. Bye. See you later. Okay. Okay. Hey, Jay yeah. Holloway. Hello. Hello. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Bye, uh, Tara. She said she's about to get lucky. Have, good luck, girl. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enjoy. Put on your red dress like Johnny Gill said and get him singing. <laughs> my, my okay, my bad. She wears the yeah. most beautiful red lips. Yes, she does. Yes, I love what she wears. Put on your red dress. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm looking at them though. Now you go have see. Thank you, Amina. Now you go have me on here buying a bunch of these things because I'm like, oh, they're only sixteen dollars. I can buy five. You know, because it's like, why buy one? It's only sixteen. You know, might as well buy at least three. That's what's. That's how <laughs> right. my mind works. Wait a that's minute. Wait. 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 There's a comment here that says, I'm going to guess Amina is a Pisces or an Aquarius. Or an Aquarius. Who are you? I know what you are. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> okay, they, yeah, they did ask us what our signs are. So now, since so somebody said that, Amina, oh. what, do you, what do you, Amina? Because I'm pretty sure I know, but. I am a Pisces. I, I find it crazy. Like, how, is it obvious? Am I obvious? Yes, you are very yeah. much a Pisces. Yes, yeah. you are very much a Pisces. You're very, yes, girl, you are a Pisces. You are very much into like this eclectic thing. You're kind of dreamy. Pisces are very dreamy. They're very, um, you know, they're very tapped into things and they're very, very artistic. Cause I have a lot of, I have a lot of Pisces in my family. My brother's an artist. My sister's a writer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, two of my three sisters are Pisces. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Somebody well, said my Libra. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> what is Lulu? That's a great question. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Somebody said this. Put on, tell her to put on the Brian McKnight song tonight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, okay, so after you sent, you posted that video, like the full video, I played it and I was just laughing at the beginning and then I kind of forgot that it was playing and by the end of it, I just found myself like Groove into it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? Turn this off. <laughs> it does have a nice melody. It does have a nice, you know, flow. It's mm -hmm. besides the lyrics, it's a nice song. Right. I mean, but I mean, he's a good songwriter. He's very good with that. He has his style. It was just no the words. It's like what? <laughs> what? Okay. So let me show you how time. that. He works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone trying to figure out what the animal is. Exactly. Okay. Like the chat is probably lost. I know. I am, hey, Mr. Oz. Oh, Mr. Oz is here. Um, Wait, Google, you didn't get your um, sign. What's your sign? I'm an Aries. Oh, okay. uh, Aries. I was going to say oh, Scorpio. Yeah. My son oh, is an Aries. Aries. I'm an Aries. Female Aries are different than male Aries. I'm sure, but I just... Okay. I don't know anything about Aries. All right, well, I know about. Well, Pam, what's your sign? Yeah. Aries. <laughs> yeah. Pam, what's your sign? Yeah. Aries. Oh, yeah, Aries. Oh. That makes, oh. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Yeah. And I will tell you, listen, Aries are very loud. 
<laughs> we are very impatient. We are impatient people. We lead a lot. We are very, we are natural leaders. We're very creative and we, you know, and, and we don't take well with, you know, we are very cut and dry. So it's like, okay, whatever, bye. And so we don't, you know, we we're very, I've learned how to not be less. We like are, that. we're very, um, we're very quick to cut sling load. So, so but I've worked, we, we don't, I've worked very we hard. Don't to, we don't wait to be messed over a second time, basically. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I, I'm, yeah. very, I'm the opposite. I'm like, well, you yeah. know, I'm gonna give them. The right, that's because you're, that's cause you're a water sign, and that's because you're Pisces, and y'all. Well, try to, you know oh. what's funny? Yeah, you know what's funny? I mean, is that whenever, and I'm not the only person who's it has who's Aries that I noticed that with. Um, I want to say maybe Capricorns are like this as well. Whenever we give people or a situation a second opportunity, it's outside the scope because we've already. It's we we've already sensed that they wouldn't do well. They they'll keep on repeating, okay. and every time I think that talking to other people, every time we do so, which is outside the scope of what you normally would do, or you 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 don't follow your gut, basically, we end up regretting it and end up hurting ourselves. Right. And so before people tell us that they've done something wrong to us, we've already known. That's so weird. Yeah. I've always been like that since I was a child. Oh, and then the other thing with you, Amelia, so, is that you have like psychic abilities. Pisces, Pisces have very yeah. psychic abilities. Um, so yes. you can you know people into, so that's it. Because like I have a Pisces moon, which I feel tempers my Aries fire sign. Y'all, as y'all can tell, I'm really into yeah. astrology. Yeah. But Pisces are very known for creativity and you are and you and you are very intuitive because like I was telling my son because my son's a Pisces too and he went he was out and there was a big accident in reference to a car that he had and he had told me he said Ma I really felt like I shouldn't have gone out that night. I was just someone telling me don't go don't go and I told him I said always go with your first mind because your intuition was telling you yes. this isn't a good night for me to be yeah. out. But that's in general. I think everybody needs to do that. When you hear your voice, and that inner voice saying something is wrong, don't discount it. Because we tend to discount that and be like, oh, no, that ain't the truth. You know, the, no, your your inner voice is letting you see some things that you're not seeing with your, with your eyes, but you're, yeah. uh, you're eyes. Not unconscious yeah. to seeing it. So really? always do that. You saying this is just hitting Sasha, so much. I mean, I highlight like Sasha. Sasha's, uh, I can't highlight Sasha anything. Roberts. I got it. I got her because I see what she said. She said she her Aries be cussing her out. Yeah. Oh lord. Okay. But like honestly, yeah. in my so that's life, the other thing. Right? Go ahead, Pam. Yeah, that's the other thing. I think that um the the person has to be because we do get we we can be off the cuff very quickly, and so having that you have to you have to really look. And like a lot of times when people don't realize is that you can put things on whatever, but when you point at other people, four fingers pointing back at you, which forces you to think about your behaviors. I had to curb because when you said that, right, I've been a soldier for a long time. So my mindset is we have a mission. Let's get it accomplished. I don't want to hear no if, answer, buts about it. There ain't no gray matter. It's either black or white, point blank, period. And so a lot of times when people are talking or they have something to say, we don't hear it because we're th focused on what we have to get accomplished. And that's the problem with that, perhaps. I don't know the manager or anything. That's the problem with that manager, perhaps, is that in the position that they're in, you know, they don't realize, or they may realize and don't care, but they don't, they shouldn't real they don't realize how they're coming off to other people and having to, mm -hmm. to be adult enough to make changes. Because that I've heard that before. That I've heard that said about me, to be honest with you, about you know, how I was very loud. Yeah, but the thing is with age, you're supposed to evolve. And so there's an yes. evolution of the person. So a person who is Absolutely. that is an unevolved Aries because I was a yes. terrible, I had a terrible mouth as a, you know, and I, and y'all know, I, I, I curse like a sailor, but I'm mm -hmm. a very nice person. And sometimes I catch myself and I yes. don't say the things that are sitting right here on the top of my head to say, and then I have to go, uh -huh. you know, as a pope pose saying, bitch, you got me fucked up. I might say, well, you know, let's think about that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh God. So, Kia, what's your sign? That's what I was gonna ask you. I wanted you to guess my sign. 
I think you are because you you seem like you're very chill. I thought you were a Libra because you're very balanced. Oh. You know, you have this balance about you and everything, and you're very calm and everything. So I definitely I, see you as a calm sign or a Cancer. I can see you as a Cancer too. Like I, I see you as very compatible with the Libra. Are you a Scorpio, Kia? I'm a Gemini. Gemini. Oh. Okay, okay. See, I ain't seen the other side of you, Kim, because we see you on the other side. Okay. Everybody knows the side of uh, Kia in the uh, After Dark Lives. <laughs> Funny, I know. I know that's the other side because my best yes. friend, my daddy was a Gemini. I know you Geminis. Ooh, you. Mm, we ain't seen Kia. I know Kia oh. be cutting up on some folks sometimes. Uh, it's okay because I love y'all. I know going, uh, Amina mentioned that after dark live, I remember going in there and I'm like, <laughs> like what is that? What the hell is What the hell is this? What the hell is this? What the hell is after dark? Oh yeah, they, 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 they're really good. They are really, really, they used to get real love, tough until I found out my students had found me and I had to shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody said, hey, let's see. I was like, mm -hmm. like oh, are not scary. Okay. We are not scary. <laughs> no, no. You all just, y'all, listen, you all are twins, though. Y'all got some twin ways, though. Come on, kid. You know, you got some I, twin I mean, ways. I'll, I'll admit to it. I just think everybody does. You have your yeah. some extreme ones, and it's okay. You know, y'all just got some extreme ones, <laughs> but it's okay. It's Somebody okay. asked, but you know, I love Gemini's. Like I said, my daddy was one of the best people ever. So now somebody asked about Leos, and now I know there's another yeah. Leo, which is, sassy, hold up, which is Sassy D with JJ because she's my, my friend from forever. Leos, what do we know about Leos? Leos, Leos got a mouth on them, baby. Leos will say some nasty, cutty stuff to you and then act like they did. It was, you know what? Two days late, they'll be acting like, what? why are you upset with me? So what? And they are, and they are the kings and queens of the jungle. So they expect to be treated very regally. They're very regal. They, that's what they are. They are the kings and queens of the jungle. So Leos can be very. I mean, it's a mixture because I have a lot of Leos in my family. But you know, they either they're either some of the sweetest people you will know because Leos take care of people. They are very kind. They're very nurturing and loyal. Very very loyal, but baby, they got a mouth on them, so you got to be ready for their mouth. <laughs> yep. Mm -mm. She said, we're all going to be telling each other. Listen, I'm just in astrology. I've been in this stuff for like 30, over 30 years, so, you know, I'm pretty adept on it. So, you mentioned the um, juxtaposition. So, my son Christian was a Leo, and he was very, he's a, he was a kid from even when he was little caregiver all the way to the end. And so when he, when you made him mad, you wouldn't even know, <laughs> you wouldn't even know you made him mad, you know, um, because he would internalize it and he wouldn't say anything and he would wait and bite his tongue before he said anything. He wasn't, he wouldn't cuss you out or anything like that. When he spoke to you, he spoke to you for a child. He spoke articulately, and then you're like, you know when somebody cuts you, but they're smiling while they're cutting you? <laughs> you know, but that's just the whole time. Whenever he was really upset, you could tell he was really upset because the way he would drag his words out. And I think, I, and I have friends that are Leos, but for the most part, the most intimate relationship I've had with a Leo was my son. And all I saw was care the caregiver of those Leos, including like, um grandmothers, you know, that type of, I've seen that. They'll be upset, but they're always thinking about caring the other person, basically. They're always thinking about taking care of the other person. That's so that's somebody, asked how, somebody asked how to find your moon signs. Um, there, you can just go online to find it. You have to know your, yeah. you know, your date of birth and your time and that, cause actually you have a full chart. Um, so there's a lot of things going on, but that's the easiest way. And then you just type it in and it'll pop up your moon sign. Um, your moon sign is basically your inner person. So your sun sign is what shows to the world. 
And then your inner, the moon is like your feelings and how you move wow. underneath. You would have to look it up. So what you want to do is go on. There's like just put in moon signs. You know, can mm -hmm. find your moon signs, and you can find it online. Because like I have books that I can actually open it, look it for, but they're they're not right here, or I do it for you. But it's basically about your where you live, where you were, because it depends on where you're at and the time of day you were born. Because sometimes it shifts, you know, certain yeah. days, and but and you once you start reading about it. Yes, of course, where you live and your parents and things have a lot to do with who you are, but you'll start seeing things about your personality that's just inherent to you. Like you said, Amina, you're now saying, oh, that psychic thing. That's why, because Pisces are psychics. They're they're the natural psychics of the of the astrology sign. So that's why you got that little intuitive nature. I just knew it. I just knew it so many times in my life, in my adult life, I will just think about something and I get them a lot. This may sound crazy, but I get a lot of dreams, right? My I'm sister, you too. Okay. So one day I had a dream. Um, this is probably one of my most recent ones. It was at the start of the pandemic and this is probably TMI, but I'm just going to put it out there. I was, I was uh, dating someone when I was in Scotland and I had a dream that it was at the start of the pandemic. I had a dream that he felt ill he caught COVID and he died. And I remember when I woke up that morning, I felt so sad and I called him. I was like, oh my God, I had this dream. Da, 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 da. And then I looked it up um, online. Like, what does this dream mean? And it says that that person's not going to die. It just, it probably yeah. means that this person has, is or has betrayed you. It's going to or already has betrayed you. Like the ultimate betrayal. So it's like the death of a relationship, basically. Right, right. I kid you not, one week later, I found out that he had been talking and essentially dating someone else at the same time, even though I had asked him about it in the past. And then it took me a while to even put those two together and, and think like, right. oh, maybe that, that dream is exactly what just happened because it felt yeah. like the ultimate betrayal from him. And I've had stuff like that happen to me time and time and time yeah. again. And I usually say, oh, maybe it's just a coincidence or whatever, but this shit is real. Yes. Mm -hmm. Real. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, but now, do you understand? I know the book dreams all the time and always has visions mm -hmm. of people talking to them and coming to. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the other thing with dreams is that there's a such thing as, um, lucid dreams do you know what a lucid dream is so in your dreams you can actually change your dreams did you know that it's called a loose it's being in a lucid dream state i, don't, I haven't done it in a long time but i went through this period and i, I it was probably because i was dealing with my yoni eggs a lot but you can actually change a dream like say if you're having a bad dream i've actually changed those bad dreams in the midst of them and it's like there's this conscious moment where i've said Oh no, that ain't gonna happen. I'm, I want to be playing a game or something. So and so, it's called lucid dreaming. You can look it up. Yeah. But there's because I don't know what was. Happening. And um, so it's like if you really get into things. But then that was when I was using my uh, my yoni eggs a lot and into my crystals, and I think that was what the energy was helping with me with. But it was like I used to have lucid dreams all the time for like a few years, and I would just be like, if I didn't like the way the dream was going, I'd be like, no, nah, we're not gonna do that anymore. So it's so interesting about dreams, you know. So yeah, so um, you're yeah you that um, comment. Oh, back to five. Yeah, I'm putting it up. I'm putting it up. I'm putting it up right now. See, I'm good. Oh. But I also think that sometimes we live in a time that tells us that we shouldn't believe in those things, you know, like astrology and all these things yeah. are, you know, just don't make, but the reality is, and we live in this, um, we live in, yes, they do that, Jay Holloway, shut up, man. Um, um, <laughs> we live in this time that tells us that, that, um, that we that we we live in a technological time and it's, it's actually called the iron age we're still in the iron age that's why we're moving into the age of aquarius again that says that you know things that it has to be concrete you know things 
So we, we believe in these concrete things and things like dreams and psychic abilities and all those things have been discounted to the point that people don't believe in themselves. So that's yeah. why, some, you know, those things you've had happen to you, Amina, but you discounted it because we're taught that we can't we can't have these things. We can't believe in those things, you know, and that's the that's an it, you know, but there's. um OK, so that's one thing. So as you become more open to it it'll happen more often, you know? So as like now, now that you're kind of open to the fact that it might not just be a coincidence, it'll happen more often. You'll see it more often and, and learn how to navigate those thoughts. So what are Yoni eggs? Oops, I did start out with some, I did start something that I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what uh, Yoni eggs are, know. right? No, Lula. What are School. Yoni eggs? School them. Okay. Uh, How do you we even get astrology and stuff? Hey, just hey, this is my life. You know, my lives don't stay stay on point, and they don't have they they lack focus. <laughs> they digress. <laughs> Anything goes, and you know what I'm saying. And we go with the flow of the conversation. See, so yeah. yoni eggs are crystals that you know you put inside you. Women, I have them. D'Angelo uh, says he knows what it is, so. Yeah. I mean, the reality, I mean, I don't understand. You know, it's a crystal egg that you put inside your vagina for purposes of many things. All right. So, I mean, you know what? I, I'm so sorry because I be forgetting how some of y'all, you know, y'all be clutching your pearls when I say things. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I can show you my eggs and I can tell you what they're for. They do have good purposes. And I think yeah. that women should not be afraid of them. They're well, not, they're not going to hurt you. Yes, I agree. Women shouldn't you know? be afraid of women or men. We should not be afraid of, the of, our, bodily of our bodies and taking care of our bodies and our minds. And I think that historically we've been made to feel ashamed of things that, you know, even just, just taking away from the Yoni, um, we just recently implemented a regulation that allows for women to stay home 12 weeks to care for their newborns. That is not something we had before. We only had six weeks. And then we had to give our babies to some stranger while we go to work, right? Mm -hmm. So then last, let's see, 20, that's 2018, a formal regulation went into effect allowing us to breastfeed at work. And so you must provide an area for your soldiers to right. breastfeed, right? Yeah. If you look at how, that's just in the military, but look at how many women have been shamed breastfeeding in public when they had to in airports. So wherever they were, you know, on aircrafts when it's long planes and stuff. So I think that that's, that's something that we're coming away from. And our younger generation, thank God, has embraced the fact that as women and men, we have to care for ourselves and it's not just what the doctor tell us to do, you know? So there's a lot of mind changing that needs to happen. So, I mean, in Europe, back in however long, I was in Europe in the nineties, I was stationed there. There were nude beaches and folks were making, like giggling when they were talking about it. And these are grown folks, you know? You know, so it's just a mindset, you know, of how we look at our body, our body is a temple and whatnot, but, for some reason, have you, to, have you gone to a new beach before, Pam? I have. Aren't they just liberating? There's one in Miami, by the way, in case y'all don't know there. Hallover oh. Beach is actually in Miami of a beach of the beach. That's um a new is clothing. It wasn't out. nude. It wasn't nude until I think they made it that way in the 90s, but there was the people that lived on that strip. Because I lived on Miami Beach when I first came to the States. Um so <clears throat> I was down by 11th Street, 11, 12th Street, that area, but on I'm telling you, it's not that big of a deal. We here seem to make yeah. those big of a deal. If you look at overseas, you know, okay. the way they con yeah, they converse. And I'm not just talking about European overseas, not just not just Europe. I'm talking about Africa. I'm talking about India. The things that they do and what they worship in terms when worship is a hard word. But bottom line is we, we, we did this. We enclosed ourselves around certain ideals that are not really true. And that mm -hmm. led to us having, you know, um, being shameful about certain things, you know, so. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I learned that also by living in Europe and yeah. living in Europe. I remember when I was uh, traveling in the summertime and all beaches are considered nude beaches, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Ladies were topless, maybe not bottom, well, at nighttime, it's- Bottom. Everybody's, no one has clothes on at nighttime. I'm gonna tell you that it was, and it was traumatic for me as an American. Like I was sitting there like, what is happening? And everyone's looking at me like, is there a problem? What's wrong with you? <laughs> right, like, right, what? right. Normal, everything is normal. But mm -hmm. in my head, I was freaking out because that's something that we're not used to seeing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the, and the thing is when I also lived out there, when it came to like meeting people and dating people, people, because I'm American, they automatically assume that I'm prude. Oh yeah, yeah you're prude American mm -hmm. because we gasp and clutch our pearls at any sign of something that may be somewhat sexual or, you know, whatever the case may be. And yeah, I learned the hard way, like, okay, Amina, you need to chill because it's not a big deal. Um, I remember laying on the beach and just turning over and like three girls are laying there with just no bra, not even hiding it, just like, you know, <laughs> everything just hanging out. Um, out in comment. <laughs> People need to learn to embrace nudity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me put that on. But, and, and, and I agree, and I, but I think that, um, from, you know, we come from this uh, Christian Judeo Islamic mindset yes. that is very um, hard on women. You know, it's very much about women are, are the um, holders of chastity and we must be so, you know, pure and everything. And which is, which has been horrible for us. But it also says that we can't, you know, we're not supposed to know ourselves. And, and the whole thing about nudity, I go to a Korean spy here. Lord knows I miss it because... I can't go now, but in the women's section, like it going, just going into the locker room, you know, women, this a, it's a area, you know, to take your shower and the spas. And I have literally watched American women just have a meltdown because they come into the locker room and there's naked women in there. Girl, we are all got the same thing. It might have, some might have a little more hair than others, but we all have the same thing. And it's, and we have to learn to um, be, become more comfortable with all of that. You ain't got to do it, but you just need to be more comfortable with the fact that it's out there and, and it's okay to, for it, you know, because, you know, the, the Christian Judeo Islamic triad has made sex dirty and that's yeah. why we live the way we do you know don't get me started because I, I i you know before i started youtube and everything and the people who know me outside of youtube where i just talk about beauty and makeup what i'm known for honestly is i believe in that women have the right to their sexuality whatever form it takes and the whore mentality has to be let go of and it has to be let go of by us first as women about yes. each other in order for men to stop doing it so i believe that everybody has the right to their own whatever their sexual path is i actually have helped people with their sexual past so that's why i'm all into yoni eggs and i'm all into those things so you all see this person that I don't talk about those things on here too much, but that's more where I'm, uh, that's like the people on Facebook, the people who know me in real life, they know me as the harlot because that's what my business name is. Now, yeah. let me explain what the harlots is before y'all clutch y'all pearls again. The harlots were actual <laughs> priestess of sexuality in Samaria. So before mm -hmm. harlots were changed into whores, there were priestesses of sexuality yeah. because in every ancient culture, sexuality was se celebrated on every level and it yeah. was accepted. You could be whatever sexuality you wanted to be. Those issues about sexuality and the Puritanism is about modern religion, not about what the ancients thought. The ancients gave you the ability to be who you wanted to be. That's why you see, if you look at the Egyptians, you see that there's there's androgyny. You see that there is, you know, gender, the genders are blurred because people, they said some people were this. So you, no one was at, no one was treated differently. Bastet is the goddess of bisexuality, but no one talks about, you know, oh my God. Yes. There was a, there were bisexual and homosexual gods and goddesses because mm -hmm. that was a part of life. We have made this part a horrible part of us. And we have also made our sexuality part of our character. And that's wrong. You know, unless you're doing something like pedophilia or something like that, 
your sexuality has nothing to do with your character. For right. instance, I mean, the things that I have done, the things that I have been involved in and seen and been, people will look at me and say, oh my God, she's a horrible person because of my sexual, my sexual choices, not because of what I do on other levels. And so we have to stop doing that. So that's one of the things, like even talking about going to a new beach, that's because we have been taught that being nude is dirty and ugly and you should be ashamed of yourself. And oh my God, you know, and I get it. Cause the first time I went to the Korean spa, it was like when I did a, a, a body scrub and you sit right next to another woman, butt naked, and a woman and a little Korean woman in a, in bra and panties scrubs you, you learn, oh, we all the same people right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you really look at um, when you go get wax, like when um, waxing was the thing um, back in the like mid 90s and stuff like that, who are the people that were servicing you to do that properly? right even now when you go to mas massage like when we went to cancun the majority of the staff there were not mexicans that worked inside the spa doing the massages and all of that type of stuff and then if you really think if you go back a little further look at um viking history right so i i'm not i'm 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 not really intelligent on that. My husband is. But if you look at high, the um, Odin, the god of Odin, you know, these things, when you think about all of those types of historical references, you know, before um, we were put in a box, basically, those individuals, they celebrated, you know, even when they were giving like what I mean, I don't believe in a whole bunch of different gods, but their thought process when they're giving stuff up. If you look at African history, you know, even currently, you know, there are African tribes. They walk around. Nobody was like, oh, my God, her boobs are hanging. One boob is bigger than the other. You know, nobody did that type of stuff. It's only a predisposition for folks to have, for me, power over individuals by allowing them, to, forcing them to think that they are lesser than because they're doing what you, they're not doing what you want them to do, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to get into political stuff tonight, but if you look at the dehumanization of the African male when they were kept, when they came to Euro European countries, mm -hmm. you know, if you think about what was done to them, it's called debucking system right and i'm gonna just drop that right there the mindset they take away thing is empowering to them right to try to stifle or to dehumanize our men but that turned on them because sex wasn't what we thought was oh my god the thing that's not how we think right that's that's how, not how we think but it's it's changing and i like i mentioned the younger generation like my daughter and those that are slightly older than her. I don't know what they call them. Other generation Y, double A. I don't well, know what generation they're, they're in right now. But yeah. yeah, their mindset and their thought process, they challenge the thought process that put certain things into law or certain um, what we call par uh, paralinguistics behaviors. They're changing the dynamics. And I'm really digging. I'm just be sitting back watching my daughter have this conversation with online and you know she's a debater so for me I, it caused me it forced me to start thinking about i remember going to miami and i'm like i grew up in trinidad we have carnival we be whining in the street all kind of stuff and here i come up to the states and i'm wearing a short that by my knee as opposed to shorts that you know short shorts right and that's how we dressed when we were at home so pushing pushing a certain narrative it's an agenda that others have, not ours. And we just got to get back to what we think is right without forcing others to think that what they're doing is wrong. If, if I'm making any sense, I'm trying to, Lou, I know you, you monetize. I'm trying not to get you strong. <laughs> well, if that makes what I'm okay, saying, but you Pam, know what I mean? Pam, Pam, let me just say this. I don't worry about that stuff. So whenever you're on my channel, <laughs> don't worry about that shit because it is what it is. And, and Lord knows I, I get demonetized whenever they feel like it. So, um, but I will say this, just listen, I know the people who are in here, some of them are going, um, but I thought we was talking about Levanda's tree or not. We done got off. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> finished that conversation about 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. We, right. We've been gone. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, sorry. But it was so, key is good to about the 
it's good to um you know make sure that we're we're conversing i mean we're all grown folks that are in here so it's good that we have these conversations and understand that you know we're not gonna hold anyone if you think that way if you don't think that way that's okay you know that's really truly really okay you yeah. know mm -hmm. so who has the next perfume I mean, it's all, yes mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. I'm taking it in, learning a lot. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm glad we, you know, covered a topic like this. I think all of us can say that we've had some sort of experience um, one way or another, you know, I mean, it's just life and people are yeah. raised differently and you're raised to believe, you know, just like you said, Lulu, this is wrong, this is good, this is that, but really we're all just people and people are not gross. I mean, some people are gross, but you know, human beings, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're all on, the same on. people, like the same, and not, what am I trying to say? Anatomy, anatomy, an, mm -hmm. anatomy wise, we're all the same, right? Yeah. Right. Out. Right. And see, the, see, for me, this is the thing that I if I don't teach women one thing, this is always what I've said in life. I need to teach women that love sex does not equal intimacy and sex does not equal love, because mm -hmm. too often we as women, we find love between our legs because your heart does not lie between your legs. Right. And so we as women have to stop treating it like, oh, my God, the sex was great. And then we've had sex five times. This is a relationship. No, it ain't. Nope, it's just good sex because too often we make mistakes and and we get into bad relationships based on great sex. And if you think and if you think I'm lying, think about some of the people you know. Think about some women that you know that have been in bad relationships and it's been about the sex. And it's yeah. like, but I love him. No, you actually no. just like them. And so that's the thing that we have been taught is that we can't be a sexual being without being in love and love has to turn into a relationship. And so because of that, so many women make that mistake of, of um, having bad relationships because they've gotten caught up in sex and you can't have sex with somebody without it being love in a relationship. Yep. So that's one thing. Your, your heart is, does not lie between your legs, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see a lot of conversation well, anyway, going on in the, uh, the chat room. Wait, wait, wait. I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, let's <laughs> so not you just said bring the fragrance heat. Okay, what you got for oh, I think it's your turn, Pam, because because then Amina just talked about the scent trunk, and then we got we got way late on astrology and I know everything. How it happened. Okay, so this is the new to me <laughs> fragrance going. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Lab Salute by Narciso Rodriguez. Okay. And, you know, I bought this. No, I got this as a gift. When we did our Christmas. Uh, good night. Good night. Wendy's leaving. Good night, Wendy. So I, I got this as a gift when we did in the perfume corner when we did our Christmas um, swapping of gifts. Yeah. And initially when I sprayed it, I was like, I don't know what, what's in here because it, it took me aback because it gave me that um, vibe of um, black orchid. So where it has a lot of, um, mm, but that's the initial spray. When I smell the nozzle, I smell that, that musky uh, powderiness of Narciso Rodriguez that we love his fragrances for immediately and then when i spray it on my skin what i find is i get a lot of that um that sweet denseness of black orchid that patchouli um yeah. that there yeah, that sometimes like takes me aback right so i noticed that we've been cold here i would say like in the 20s and stuff lately and i tell you what these type of fragrances this one the black orchid which is not my favorite at all but they blossom they literally, I don't know how fragrance does that. And you got to respect the art of perfumers. Yeah, so absolutely. this has been, That's yeah, true. a fragrance smelled one way six months ago, two months ago, one month ago. And I they're completely cool. different. This thing smells so good on my skin. Bye, Have a good night, Winter. Have a great night. Yeah. So this is one of my, lately, this has been a fragrance that I've been, I'm actually pulling it out to play with other fragrances to see if it plays nice with them, but it doesn't need, it doesn't need that. And I wore it, I think I went and I got gas and I got compliments. 
And the person that gave me compliments was across. You know how you pump and you have the person on the other side pumping the gas? It's like, you smell good. I said, I smell like gas. He's like, no, you, I can smell your perfume. And I was, I was in shock because I didn't realize it projected that much. But yeah, okay. so that's the absolute kind of Mr. Rodriguez. I really like this now for this cold weather anyways. So Coco asked me about, cause y'all know I went, some of y'all know I went on um, Pistoise the Parfum kind of crazy. Yeah, we saw it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Prolix. She was about, more about the black bottles. Now, whew, this is the one I, I told Amina already, she needs to get this one. Yeah, this is like super spicy and deep and dark and woody, and for, and it oh my lord, it just smells so good. I don't know, and this is like suppose you know like for who I am as a fragrance person, you know yeah. it's like that says that it's different. You know, it's my my tastes are changing, and um, oh my goodness, this is so good. Now I'm telling y'all, y'all if for stuff like this, y'all better stay on fragrance back. Fragrance by has the best prices. Yeah, yeah, I'm very impressed yes. by them. This is called Prolix. And it's just this deep, spicy, it's got rose in it, but the rose is so, so minor. It's all about the, the spice and the woods. And it's just, damn, this shit is smell, damn. Oh, and then before I forget, I did try the powdery one just for you, Kia, just to see it. All right. This is the tuberose number one. Okay. And it's very powdery, but mm -hmm. it's very iris. Remember, Amina, we were talking about how we feel about iris. Yeah. This is very irisy in the beginning. It's like it's all iris. It's like an iris bomb. Okay. But as it dries down, and it's real powdery in the in the top. But as it dries down, the tuberose, you know, they come together, and it becomes this really beautiful fragrance. Um, I'm gonna wear it a few more times. But you know, at first I was like, oh, okay, this is powder, this is iris. But the iris smell is more of a because I used to have irises in my garden, so it's more of a, a garden iris. It's not just a floor, you know, a, a powdery a flower. Yeah, it's more floral. So it's really, really pretty. So what's the name of the black bottle you had? Prolix. Um, this is called Prolix. Prolix, okay. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're about to be putting everybody on. Yes, because I've never heard of everyone that. just well, let me just tell y'all, if you go on to Fragrance Buy for His Wars of Parfum, look for the testers because the testers are bigger and so cheap. So cheap. Okay. And they come with cats. They come with cats. These are all under hundred dollars. Oh wow! The irreverent one is too expensive, but I think irreverent was um, popular. So pr there was like a trilogy of them they did irreverent, prolix, and ultra cuidant, but those weren't as popular. So these are okay. um, the yeah. I'll get to that when I come back around, Coco. Dang! <laughs> <laughs> Coco's like, tell us now. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's my turn. Um, what I have is this pretty bottle. So this is Nina Richie's. Hmm, I guess I should have looked at the name. Is that Chant? <laughs> is that Chant yeah. Le Xdoc? Yeah, I was looking at that. I want to hear about it. Okay, so I got this because I was listening to Gabby of the Fragrantition here on YouTube, and she said this is a mermaid's perfume, and I am a mermaid, sometimes a dolphin, but mermaid sounds amazing. So I said I had to get it in this bottle. It's gorgeous. It's made um, by MFK, one of our favorite perfumers. And so this puts you in the vibe of Soleil Blanc um, and those summery, beachy type of perfumes. Okay. It's different. Um, I wanted that. You know, that's a Kirk John because he's done that whole line. Yeah, for, MFK. yeah, this is another one. So I was thinking I had to get this one because the bottle is just beautiful and ocean like. So I like it. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan of the Sole Blanc kind of fragrances. So this <laughs> goes right into that. Okay, Kia. Coco yeah. is dying to know. Please, oh, I'm wearing. 
And I did say that. Um, I said I was going to answer some of the things I was seeing over she here. Wanted to wear her like together. So I used a, it's like a liquid bronzer, and I just mixed it in my foundation. So that's probably giving me some glow. And then I have on a random MAC highlighter. Um, I just feel like a lot of highlighters kind of all look the same, but it's a MAC one if you are curious about that kind of quality. I know some of the cheaper ones can be chalkier, but um, yeah, it's just a random highlighter, but I did uh, mix in some bronzer in my foundation. Because oh, Coco was going to die if you didn't tell her. I'm going to go. Oh, I love you, Coco. Thank you. Coco was not letting it go. She was like, um, what do we do? <laughs> <know?" laughs> right. She's Coco, like, I'm, I'm asking. Danny. Yeah, like, this is, this is very, like, this is this is very beachy, Danny. This is very beachy. I wish I um would have paid more attention to like what the notes are, but it's right along those beachy lines. Okay. Okay, before we get started, I gotta take a turn. I am looking at Yummy's um her her channel and she's at 965 she need 35 more people to make it to her thousand subscribers if 35 of y'all are not subscribed to yummy we need y'all to subscribe to her before we get off of here y'all got 20 minutes we do it two hours y'all got 19 minutes i'm checking again before we get off but okay I'm thank you so much I'm do it or lose coming for y'all thank you yes i got all your names um, in the chat let me check it for y'all <laughs> okay so i guess i am next oh i just want to i've been holding on this brush for a while and i know since we're talking about fragrance and you know makeup well we're talking about everything right um i'm in love with this brush i've had this for a while this is the um <gasps> what is it beautylish uh i don't know what is the brand is. is that the chicken this is, but this oh, is last year. Wait a minute. Not this only is last year, though. This is last hold year. Up. Hold up. You don't only spend money on perfume, but you yeah, don't have a for the brushes. Mm. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I do love a good feel? brush, though. I do love a good brush. And, like, this is my powder, my old powder brush. brush. And I just grabbed it as we were talking just to keep my hands busy. And I was like, man. I need another one of these. I know they just launched their, the the one for this year or last this year. year. It was just yeah. launched. Yeah. Yeah. And I I'm uh, probably sold out already, but this shit here, guys, it's so cute. It's first off, uh, get it. It's not I'm sold out yet. It's the softest thing. You wanted to meet it. It's not sold out yet. They've got a few more left. Okay, I need to I need to think about getting another one because the only thing, only reason why I, I didn't jump on it when I saw it was because it's the same exact shape. And I yeah, wish right. it had like a different shape that way i can use it for something mm -hmm. else you know? yeah right wait 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 man coco coming for you too she said wait a minute we didn't know you was a bougie friend i am yeah. i don't talk about it that much but yes i got oh, me you know, you're one of the girls you're one of the girls now you know I, the thing is honestly i used to play with like i used to wear eyeshadow and stuff all the time I'm just not that good at it, no matter how much I've tried. So I don't do it very often. If I do it, it's probably like a matte eye look or maybe like a one, like a one shimmery shade on my lid and that's it. Just keep it simple. Because when I try to do all the rest, then makeup is like up to here, out to here. It's a mess. So. Okay. But, can't, but we talking about that Chikahoto brush. So don't play with us, girl. Don't play with us. We know yeah. how much Chikahoto costs. Okay. We see. We was all like, whoa, she made us throw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, but I, I love this. I love this thing. But um, back to fragrance. I have this. I'm looking at Pam. Ooh, oh, you got, got the woman. I got the sample, and I I haven't tried it yet, and uh -huh. I kind of want to try it now. Okay, Come on, try it, girl. Come on, try it. Pam, try it. you do you like this one? I do like that one. I will. I won't. I won't. I'll, I'll wait for your your judgment okay. on it. After, I'm glad um, I didn't spray anything on, so I'll just go right on skin because I don't, oh, yeah. Um, uh, Lulu's in the group, the perfume corner. I got a bunch of samples from uh, Nassim. I yes. How you pronounce it? Yeah, she sent me a buttload of samples, and I never got a chance to try them. Um, but I was like, you know, I'll put out a cover. Yeah. She gave me a bunch, too, and I'm I still excited. have them. You're, awesome. like, really excited because I want to hear what you say. <laughs> this is actually... 
It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a pretty scent. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's nice, but it's changing. I like the opening, but it's starting to change. I don't know what's in here. But you know what? It's kind of fluffy, like marshmallowy. Mm -hmm. It's actually not bad. I, I don't hate it. I was expecting to be like, what the fuck is this? How do you do it? I don't hate it. I don't know. I don't know. I will take that. I will take you like it as opposed to you hate it. I thought I was going to hate it. I was expecting it. Because it's my number two. Uh, in, my, in my entire collection, that one and Emerald Rain are tied for second place. Mm. It's kind so of a soft, though. It's, it's kind of soft. It's very much so. So that's the thing. I remember I talked about how um, I'm learning mm -hmm. that when we talk about beast modes, you know, we're expecting projectile um, away and, you know, that expansion. And I gave the story uh, last week about how I had that on. I wasn't smelling it like maybe three, four hours in. I put it on at seven in the morning. I, I took my video and I went to work at about 1700, five o'clock in the evening. The housekeeper followed me around and asked me, what am I wearing? I had just used the bathroom. This is almost 13 hours later. Oh, wow. So it leaves that whenever you the perfume, I think it leaves, it stays in certain places. And she came and she told, she asked me, I said, I put this on this morning. You can still smell it. She's like, I can't really smell it on you, but I can smell it when you move around. Okay. And yeah. I think Terry, Terry had said the same thing um, in her review. I really like those scents. It will change on you. It changes the composition. And it's supposed to be the same way as in the movie, right? How Wonder Woman is one way, but she has different dimensions to her. And so mm -hmm. when I did my review, what I said is that for me, it's not about a butt kicking chick you know, in high heel wedges and all of that. It's about the women who've changed the course of history, military wise, first of all, oh. as well as the women in our homes that have changed, you know, life happens, but they still doing what they gotta do. Single mothers, married, it doesn't really matter. Women, we change constantly while still maintaining our own self-respect and self-dignity. So that's kind of, I said all of that to say, I like the perfume. A lot. I mean, yeah, because it, 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 look, it, it went from being a perfume to a, uh, you know, a, a, a statement of, of womanhood. No, it, it's it's actually nice, but I I must say though, how much does this cost? Because now that's the problem that I have, right? Yeah. So all all, and I mean all the limited edition fragrances from House of Siage when they came out, Wonder Woman eighty four being what the first one, the second one was the Mickey Mouse times um, House of Siage times Disney. Um, those are all $400, $395 to be exact, right? And they do not go on sale like the rest of the cupcakes. So that's the issue that I have. If you're paying yeah. back, and, and the oil in that is significant amount of oil in it. So it's not like the perfume oil, you know, like they made it cheaply or whatever. It's 20% on it. Huh? It says 20% perfume oil. Yeah. Yeah, 20 to 30 percent oil on all their fragrances. So I for me, for me, and y'all know I, I'm a ride or die house of siage. I love the fragrances. I think that those fragrances that the cost is too much for those in particular because they don't last as long as Passion de l'Amour. It doesn't last as long as Os Bijou. It doesn't last as long as Emerald Rain. It doesn't last as long as Benevolence. And it certainly doesn't last as long as the um when you combine and you layer those other fragrances. They're just really beautiful fragrances. They just don't last longer than maybe. And I want to smell my perfume. I pay four hundred dollars. I want to smell it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So oh, after yeah. four, three, four hours, there are some people who got like six to seven hours. They claim on their their reviews. I that wasn't the case for me. Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> talked about Roja Dove and said, I, I've never smelled besides Scandal any other Roja Dove. And there's, it's not just Roja Dove, but other expensive brands that their fragrances are very expensive and they cost two fifty. dollars Tom Ford, Lost Cherry, gets lost in 15 minutes. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
can we pause, can we pause real quick? I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, Joe is here. Do you see that? Uh, no. The scented moment. Joe Lima came to say hi. I don't know if he's still here. It was like five minutes ago, but. Oh, no, no, I didn't see. Let me see. Can I see him? Let me see. Can I find him for you? The scented he moment. Said, he said, hey, what's he say? What? Hi, everyone. Smiley face. Aww. I'm blushing because you know I have a, a Maybe it's time we get a crush on him. Oh, I see him. I see him. Okay, I got him for you. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, so here we go. Hi, everyone. Smiley face. But welcome. Thank you for coming by. We're just talking mm, stuff about fragrance and everything. Yeah. Really. So, I mean, it's we, we talk about how, because House of Siash has been on everybody's lips, I guess, the 2020, right? That was their year. But House of Siash was actually around since, you know, Kelsey Grammer's ex wife was on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and before that. That, that perfume house is not that new. Um, the problem that I have is that it gets all the perfume house gets a lot of flack and I probably get a lot of flack for this saying this, but there are a lot of fragrance houses or designer fragrance houses that charge two and $300 for their fragrances and they don't last long either, or they don't smell very good either. So it has to be relative. I happen to like the presentation. I like the stuff. I say what I say. I love their customer service. Um, y'all know I don't get, I don't have any PR. All my stuff was bought with my own coins for Mr. Joseph, oh, Mr. Joseph Jordan's coin. So, <laughs> fair, so fair. for me, you know, that's how I feel about the fragrances. I really enjoy it. I love the way they look. I love when I walk into my closet, it makes me happy. That's just Pam. That's just Pam. Okay. Um, I just can't get with a lot of Tom Ford's prices for his fragrances either. Cause they don't last on my skin. Especially, uh, I tried Lost Cherry. It changed on me. I try. I have the Soleil Blanc and the Otis Soleil Blanc. Um, those are good. They're nice. They make me think like I'm on a vacation. But by the time I get in the car and get 10 minutes from me, gone. So, I mean, it's relative. And those are $100 plus dollars too. So, that's kind of well, where I am with it. I think you will like it, Nina. Hmm? Go ahead, Lulu. I'm sorry. No, I'm saying I think, okay. You love House of Siage. Go ahead and love it. And I don't think that we yeah. need to, you know, what I mean? and I'm just being honest. I think that too often we try to, and I'm not one of these, and you're just getting started. So I'm going to stop you right now. Stop making, stop mm -hmm. trying to, don't, don't defend who you are, what you like. You like it. That's all that matters. And so, right. because somebody's going to like it, you know, and you don't have to explain yourself. And so, you know, you right. love House of Sea. I ain't never going to buy it. I'm just being honest. Never going to buy House of Sea. <laughs> but I, it's right. just the truth. I'm, but right. I ain't no problem with you buying it. And I think sometimes, right. especially when we first start out as a YouTuber, we spend a lot yeah. of time with disclaimers and shit. Don't yes. disclaim a motherfucking thing. Do you. You know what I'm um, saying? Well, <laughs> Right, you know, yeah. and right, I think, right. I think, but I'm just being honest because I know all of you all are new. This is my fourth year on YouTube. You have right. to get, you have to find your space and how you're going to run your channel and be who you are. And don't worry yeah. if people don't like you. It's right. all because listen, I went through this. Okay, let me let me tell you a truth. There was a period when I said, oh, she, oh, let me let me clean up my language. Let me clean up my language and make sure I'm not cursing because you're not supposed to curse. And it was some of the hardest times for me because I was always in my head trying to figure out how to say something without yeah. saying fuck. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's who yeah. I am. And so I had to be who I am on here, just like you have to. So don't I don't give a fuck who who says, oh, when they get in your comments talking shit about you, house to see us, fuck them motherfuckers. Because guess what? It's your money. It's your channel. You run it the way you want. Kia's like, oh my lord, I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> That's right. You exact. You're absolutely right. It's your channel. You like what you like. Do you? Right. I right. mean, everybody's not gonna like everything. We do right. it the way, like for instance, Amina. Amina has her style. I mess with Amina, but I respect her style, and I've and I've learned about things from her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, because I, I always say that's my quirky girl, you know. And I love Amina because of that, because she comes with something different. If everybody tries to be like everybody else, it's boring as hell. And those are yeah. the people I stop watching after a while, because it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna see. What am I gonna see today? Oh, good girl. Oh, um. A little good girl, a little, you know, they get they La Via Bell, you know, and that's fine if that's who they are. It's just not who I am. So, girl, right. don't you worry about that. Don't be like, oh my, yeah, you better buy all the house of CIs you want. You better show them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, like, no, they, they, stop, they, 
Oh, yeah. Right. But we throw shade at each other just for fun. Like, yeah, you know? yeah. I don't care about that stuff. Now, now just exactly. so you know, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna shade you about House of Siage. I am yeah. just, I'm just, just it's gonna come, but just know that I'm gonna laugh along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but 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 I have no problem with you talking about it or, or buying it or anything. It's who you are. That's your thing. Girl, please don't you ever apologize for shit on this damn platform. Yeah. Absolutely. Don't you apologize for shit. Is okay, lovely. Lovely. He's like, yes, Lulu's gangster. Lulu is <laughs> Lulu is no, I think, no, but seriously, in life, here we go again. With life, we always apologizing for who we are and what we oh, want to yeah. do and everything. Yeah. That is the hard, that's the worst thing you can do. Don't start it here and stop doing it in life. I don't apologize for a motherfucking thing I do. If I want to do it, I did it. I did yeah. it. And so that's it. Yeah. Okay. So so now next time I come on there and I I give you some shade, just know it's all in love, Pam. <laughs> it's all in love. Yeah. <laughs> Back comment. Okay, so let me. So okay, so okay, so you did the WW four. What do I need to highlight for? Oops. The Where did I go? <gasps> Oh, I went to another whole thing. Okay, let me go. Oh, right here. Girl, look, I went to a whole nother piece on my uh I went to another. Yes. Um, yeah. But that's what my my father told me that he said if people don't pay your bills, fuck what they think about you. I said, okay, daddy. And he was a Gemini. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We do get caught up in that. Um, I know sometimes we do especially here on this platform where you're made to feel um, based on what, because people will slide up in your, before the video is even posted, sometimes there's a thumbs down. Oh yeah, it happens all the time. <laughs> oh, okay. All the time. You know, and so instead of looking at the 10 or the 15 thumbs up, you look at the thumbs down, you know, and that's, that's a psychology thing, right? So for me, moving forward and moving ahead, you know, I said what I said. I like House of Siage. I have no issues with saying that. I paid for it or Mr. Jordan paid for it. It all depends on how folks want to look at it. And what I say, because I think some, sometimes perhaps people think I'm getting stuff for free. So that's why I'm so joyous and happy and all of that type of, you know, that thought process. Um, but it's not the case. So that being said, you know, that's just me. You know, I like, the only thing I buy now is perfumes. Like I said the other night, late I'm no bags, no wallets, no shoes. All I'm buying is perfume because it's what sparks joy. I want 2021 and beyond, right? I'm manifesting that in my life. 2021 and beyond, if it ain't giving me joy, it's got to go. That's all there is to it. And yeah. perfume gives me well, joy. Me and makeup. Like, like, like we were saying, um, and makeup. First off, thumbs down is engagement. You two don't care. If somebody engaged with you, they engage with you. So I don't care about, mm -hmm. never care about the thumbs down. So a thumbs down doesn't hurt you. It doesn't hurt your channel. But what? But there's a thing about this though. You got to get some. You got to get some thick skin because the fact is, is that people are going to yes. come crazy. You know. So you have to have thick skin, and you can't be letting stuff you know bother you like that. Somebody, everybody's not going to like you. Right. That's just life. So if, you know, if you worry about that, you're always going to be, that's why so many YouTubers be like, worried about it. they were, they were saying mean things to me and losing their damn mind. Because when you, when you allow that energy to take over, those are the people going to keep talking to you because that's what they need. As I always tell, because my old people know, um, when trolls come into my space, I, I tell them, I said, you know, I understand you miserable and you feel this need to talk to somebody that you don't even know in a way to make them miserable just like you while you living in your mama's basement. So I'm going to give you a virtual hug and make you feel better. Let's all hug them. And that's what you have to remember. When people put with you that you don't know strangers with yeah. some bullshit, that's because they are miserable and they need to spread some misery. And so, like, if you ever notice, if you ever see any comments of mine that are fucked up, I laugh at them and I fuck with them and then they leave me alone. I think it's hilarious. That's what you got. Honest. I do too. I remember there was one time uh, I was I was watching your live and someone made a comment and you highlighted it and you're like, okay, everybody, let's uh, let's all look at this and analyze this and you went <laughs> in. You just went in. I was just like, wow. 
Gotta <laughs> love it. Probably never coming back again. <laughs> No, because if you come in wrong, and especially because let me tell you this one thing, and, and Karen's been with me for a long time. I don't believe in bullying people, so I don't do the whole thing where we're gonna jump on somebody or anything like that. But if you come at people wrong and in there, I'm gonna I'm gonna check you. That's all that's gonna happen. I'm just gonna check your ass. Yeah. But I'm never gonna treat you know. I don't believe in bullying people. Who leaving us? Right. Jay. Jay. Hi, Jay. We about to get off, but we about to get off anyway. Yeah, we're, 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 yeah. we're about to get off, Jay. Jay's not going to bed. I know he just <laughs> getting off of here. He's just like, I'm tired of talking to Because Jermaine's like, you go to bed too early. He ain't going to bed. He ain't going to bed. Right. Okay. Right. If he is going to bed, it might not be the bed. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> True. <It> could be. <laughs> That's why Tara had to leave us, right? That's why Tara from uh, Opinion uh, Exactly. Right. <laughs> we put Yummy's channel on there. Is it Yummy 411 with an exclamation point? No, just Yummy 411. Yeah. Hold on, okay. I'm looking again. And we, it's all together to separated. Hold on. Let me let me check again. Let's see where she at right now before we leave. Because then I'm, I, don't make us have to come for y'all. She's at 973. Okay, she needs 27 okay. more people. I'm telling you, she I needs to be there before the end of month. Saturday. I'll say by Wednesday. No, not even Tuesday. Okay. You'll have Ooh, it. We should have a we should have a pool to see which one is right. I'm gonna say by Thursday. I'm gonna go for I Thursday. Think, I say Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Today's what? I Saturday. say Monday evening. Monday evening, okay. you'll nah, get one thousand. Okay, Monday evening. evening. Okay, Monday <laughs> evening you'll be at one thousand. I'm going to hitting up all my social media groups. <laughs> right, <laughs> you on my page. Okay, thank you. All right, y'all. Um, uh, I, I appreciate you all doing this with for me. For me, I like it. Hold up, let me go back. I'm. Sm I ain't gonna lie, this shit smells good. Okay, I'm with I'm Kia. You love it. No. No. All right, so that's so funny because two of us love it, two of us ain't feeling it. That's so cool, though. I, mean, I, don't this hard, no. it. I just think it smells like butter cake. You're right. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right, you out there. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Make sure y'all sub to Kia. You know, y'all yeah. can sub to me too. You know, I, I, I still like. Yes, please sub to me. If you are not, can I? Yeah, if you have not sub to us, please sub to us, all of our channels. Please. Right now, if you if you haven't and you're on my channel, I put everybody in the description box so you can go to their channel directly from my descript description box. Okay, <laughs> and so she says she's a did and she you are beautiful. So I want to thank you all, ladies, because I know <laughs> that it's hard to. Do I know it's hard to do a live with me. I know it is because you know. <laughs> it's always a good. I time. know who. I, I you know time. I know who. I know. Um, Oh, but, and, and oh, before oh, before we forget, and this was Yummy's very first live. Thank you, Lou. Thank, Thank you, ladies. It was fun. Oh, well, before we go, in celebration of that, and I manifest you're going to be at one thousand by Monday. Monday. Whoever, because I was late, of course. Whoever was the first person on here. So y'all got to, uh, Lulu, you just let me know whoever was the first person that showed up to the live. You will get a 10 milliliter decant of any fragrance in my collection. Any. I have 143 of them. They're listed on Fragrantica. So well, what, if, what if you only got 10 milliliter? Can, can we put it though? Oh, that's probably, that's uh, probably can no. no, I can see it because there were people on ahead of time. Hold on. Let me go. I'm going to go all the way up there right now. I was there, but my, you know, something was wrong with my comments. So I, I couldn't, it may not show, but I was, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see mm -hmm. if I can see who's up the top because it's not letting me see everybody now. Okay. Cause it was like mighty strong and some other people were in even before we started. So yeah. I don't know. Cause remember Kia, we saw, it was like a few yeah, people in here before. Angelo. Oh, uh, thank you, Lucas Poe. I don't know you, but Aww. man, you my man. Oh, you my man. Oh. Luke, you you know that. Luke. Okay, so Luke is probably one of the funniest people in Fratcom. He's hilarious. He's a writer, but yeah, also yeah. like comedian. So his his videos are 
He doesn't post as often as I would like him to, but the videos that he has are all hilarious. The, what did he do about okay, the night for Christmas was brilliant. Check him okay, out. I'm gonna have to go see him now. I'm gonna have to go watch him. Okay, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go subscribe. Amina said you're funny. I gotta go watch him now. Oh, all right. So thank you. Comments. Who is LB81? He said you blocked them, but I was going to ignore because I didn't want to get another that is started. That's not true. Jermaine, I put you in timeout for 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> I didn't wow. block you. He, he awesome. said you blocked him, and he said it a few <laughs> times. He's going to make a show me like <laughs> He says it every live, Lulu. <laughs> Does he? <Yeah>. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So if yeah. you so I put you in time, I thought you were calling me an old lady, Jermaine, and I didn't no. know who you were. So let me, and, and for and right here now, if you if you are not scared to do a live with me, feel free to contact me. I do live with anybody. That <laughs> <laughs> would be perfect, Lulu. I think. Oh my God, I think Jermaine and Lulu will be will be funny. I think all of YouTube would just Jermaine break. Shimon, yeah. let's go. And Stop. he does live on and Instagram on Thursday. So he does lives on Instagram on Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I so need I to follow see. you on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Frag and see what he looks like. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So I just, you know, whoever is the first person and hit me up and let me know whoever was the first person. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Fragnacle, my bad. Yeah. But you called me old, so there you go. He doesn't like Chanel perfume. That's all. He wasn't calling you old. Oh, got it. Okay. That's what he was saying. <laughs> oh, okay, wow. so let me just tell you about what, what what you say when somebody says calls you old because you know we, we we got age on us but we we ain't old fuck that shit okay so here's what you tell them see when somebody yeah. calls you old that's their way of trying to come at you because actually they think you're younger than you are and then they're trying to make you feel like oh you look old so whenever they say that to me i say thank you because see i am old bitch i got i'm a grandmother so you see, you thought you was making me feel bad, but what you actually made me know is that I look young and you're just trying to come for me. See, you got to work with these people. You got to work with them, Pam. Don't let them come for you. You got to learn how to come back. You are Aries. We got you better than this. Okay. There you go. I like that. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, wait a minute. It's, wait, Nadia's telling us don't go. <laughs> she said, don't go yet. Oh, we got to go. We've been on here. I got to go get my grandson. It's my sleep overnight. See, everybody got Aww. other folks got <laughs> other folks got other things to do. I sleep over my sleep overnight. Is with, you, uh, um, Jay, Jay, you. I oh, I, well, can I share this? I know it's kind of last minute, but I remember I think I shared once that I didn't like Chanel number five. I think I understand it now mm -hmm. and I think I kind of love it. Oh, you know what? Okay, so I haven't I worn Chanel. it in years. I haven't worn. I'm gonna have to try it again because that was Chanel number five was my first. No, <laughs> all right. No. That's what here. Come on, Lulu. No. Oh wait, how Come are we back. gonna fly if she's not Come here? Back. We'll be in here forever because <laughs> she's the only one who can end it. Okay, there she is. There she oh, is. There she's back. I'm back. Okay, here I come back. So yeah, so I'm gonna try it again. I yeah, see you all. So okay, so, yeah, I'm gonna try it again because I haven't worn it in like 40 years because I thought I was too, you know. Once I got a little bit older, I was like, oh, Chanel number no. five for the old ladies, and I started wearing mm -hmm. cocoa. So I'm gonna try it again because I know I used to love it. It's so powdery. It's, I remember it was powdery and lovely. Is that aldehyde? For me, yeah, yes. yes. Smelling, I, 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 I like. I think I'm gonna end up getting a bottle if I can find an older bottle. Though, I think I'll get it because I'm kind of getting into that vintage rabbit hole. So right. I wanted to find a, a vintage formulation. You could try on Poshmark and Mercari, Amina. Yeah, I'm scared that, of eBay. I'm scared of eBay. So somebody yeah, said this. 
I have the eighties. Yes, yeah, that's oh. part of the eighties. Okay. Yeah, I used to. I'm used to with the eighties, not you know. So I haven't had it since the air. Okay, now let's go. Let's go. Let's make this yeah, out of here. Go. Goodbye, everybody. Right, you, guys. Don't leave the stream yet for a second. Okay. After I get it.